I think we all rejoiced as we were watching Cars 2 and probably even on rewatches when Grem and Acer finally get what's coming and get beat to I don't even know where, but pretty badly in the Ye Left Turn In bar, of course, by all these beer drinking patrons man that was such an awesome scene how the table collapses and then it takes like a second for all of their drinks to fall and splash onto them and yeah i mean if that was me i would not be happy because all you know is that these two guys come crashing into your place or you're just trying to enjoy some football watching but yeah guys welcome back to another custom review today we have nico hajukberg this yellow citroen van they did the red one as in mattel did the red one and the blue one we'll compare them all of course in this video but this is a custom by jim scavenger he actually is getting rid of a lot of his collection besides mcqueen's and he's still making customs and all that but instead of selling I think this was a Brett Warren wagon. I was like, hey, why don't we make that into a custom? You know, he gets paid. He doesn't have to find somebody to sell Brett to. It's just a win-win situation. So you're going to see some more cars like that, you know, repaints and whatnot, which I tend to be, you know, some of the best customs because they're easy to make. Customizers like doing them and they add to my repertoire of background characters that expand the universe. Now, before we get into it, I do want to shout out Get Me Collectibles. Check out his eBay store in the description below if you want literally any of these cars. I'm sure he has most of them on his eBay store and they are quite rare, believe it or not. Even this Greminacer in Trouble release, a very silly release, but other than that, yeah, all these are great in the background. But we're going to dive right in here. I'll toss an image on the screen of where Nico appears. He is obviously a background character, does not speak, except for a few grunts that you could probably discern as Grem and Acer are getting pounded. But yeah, what's interesting, Epic Green Thunder actually named this guy, along with many, many of the other customs I review on this channel, including Charles Drunsd right here, who is one of the white taxi cabs in London and again a repaint of Chauncey Fair so another you know one of those easy repaints and bam you have a brand new character in the movie this is just a beautiful custom I've actually seen somebody do this before and kind of got the idea in my head Brett Warren Wagon and Paul Oakley, the red and the blue vans respectively were released in 2015 Paul was released in like August and Brett was released in the final case of the year with Mike Fuse, Ponchu Wipeout's Pity, and JW. Those were the new releases in that case. Although Jay wasn't, it was just his first time as a single because he was previously in a three-pack with me and Tia in the Radio Springs Classic line. Paul, he was in the case with My Name's Not Chuck, and the twin case of him had the Circus Sedan Super Chase. So there's a bit of information for you. They never brought the Ye Left Turn In series back. Of course, there was also Brian Fuel, the big bartender pity, super cool. But this obviously would have made a great release because again, they already have the model for it and they could easily repaint it. Paul and Brett have become quite rare since their initial releases. And you know, it's pretty tight race. I can't say which one is rare because they are battling for it right now. And they are some of the coolest releases. Just such a unique van. Now, I know, you know, since there's two of them, it's not as unique. But I still love them. And they have unique expressions, of course. And so does Nico here. This is a little bit similar to Brett, of course. But I like to think of it as being a little bit different. Plus, they're all grumpy, right? Actually, no. This is a Paul repaint because look at the mouth oh my gosh i did not know that you can see that brett's mouth is just like a line right there no dips you can see that this one's a little squiggly and it matches paul's and yet the eyes are way more similar to brett so that's actually fantastic i'm glad that jim scavenger changed that up see that's why he's one of the best out there so yeah that's really cool he's got of course that unique symbol there on the grill you got some headlights going on there that are plastic pieces popping out of the main metal body. Side view mirrors, same thing. Road hug tires. A lot of cars and cars too have those types of tires. And what I loved about this model as well is that you could of course like feel the texture, the lined texture of all the doors and whatnot. Because he is kind of like a delivery van I would assume. His license plate is L-T-I-I-K-O-E. If anyone knows the significance of that, let me know in the comments. 
it looks like Brett's is the same and then I assume Paul's yep is the same as well that kind of stinks that they made Brett and Paul with the same license plate number because that you know just would not happen that is actually illegal but you know they have done that with a lot of cars now what's also interesting here is if you look at the handle here on the door on Brett, it's just painted over red. Of course, on the custom, just painted over yellow. But on Paul, they actually painted that silver. It's very interesting to me that like on the first one, they're like, all right, we're gonna be super detailed with this. I'm gonna paint down to the handles and everything. But they got a little lazy with Brett, even though they did still do the rest of the handles. So that's just goes to show the inconsistency of Mattel at times. Let's take a look at the base of this guy. Wow, Jim Scavenger made this so cleanly. Like he takes these cars apart and he puts them together as if nothing ever happened. License plate, or no, the date code is 1015 EAA. So that's the 101st day of 2015. And that is before my Paul. My Paul is 1135. That's interesting. This one's a pretty early. Paul and then this one's way later obviously because he came out much later on in the year a good three four months later so very cool obviously not much else to show because he is just a repaint of cars that we've seen before but I absolutely love him so glad that I was able to get this custom and Citroën's you know I'm probably not pronouncing that in the French way or anything but they're some of my favorite cars and the cars universe they're so unique and I have a few of them here to show you guys of course this one, John, now he's got his kissy face on, but there are a few other like his model. I think Mattel has done three. There's John, there is Louis LaRue, and then Henry Motissi, the painter, who also came, no, he came out in 2014, same to Louis, and then, oh yeah, they all came out in 2014 in the like Paris-themed series. Now, this is not like my all-time favorite Citroën, and you can see that John has those road hug tires as well my all-time favorite would be like bruno motor's model or i have here nancy who is also in the kissing face and i know that gear truth has a similar model hers is different from nancy but it's similar so very cool it's always great to see licensed models as cars you know speed demons cool and all with her wings but it's not like that's that's pretty cheap for Mattel to make. Not even talking about how light it is. It's just not a licensed product, you know, that Mattel has to pay royalties to to use or whatever. And it's the same thing with Hot Wheels. Like I'm always going to prefer for the most part. I mean, there's some cool fantasy Hot Wheels like Shark Cruiser, just a classic, but I'm always going to prefer, you know, your Pontiacs, your Mustangs, your Corvettes, your Camaros than you know, <laughs> Arachnarod or something like that. God, I hate Arachnarod. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite patron from the bar. Greminacer not included because they are not patrons. They are just victims, even though they are, you know, the victimizers. But in this case, not <laughs> really. So yeah, of course, you have these three boys you got charles drunge i think he's in the bar as well of course i know chauncey is or at least a black cab like that you have m fenderickson who's another really cool release and there was also of course the bartender brian fuel along with a bunch of others that you know could leave room for more customs in the future although i don't think there's like another colored van like i don't think there's a green one although that would be freaking amazing what the hell maybe i'll make a green one all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i will see you soon for another one bye now